Hey everybody on YouTube. My name is everybody on YouTube knows me as Mankind Ontario or Dale Duval. Ah, uh, what you're looking at is a food cart. What happened? Uh, well, I like to especially thank uh, Tim. He helped us with the steel work. This used to be a boat and trailer, but there's the boat over there. <laughs> if anybody wants a boat. And you're in northwestern Ontario, you want a boat, give me a call. I'll sell it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we, Paul came up with this idea about a food trailer. We've seen this food trailer in Rainy. It looked pretty cool, you know, but the guy wanted a, a, and it's smaller than this one, actually. He wanted a small truck for a trade. So he wanted somebody to trade him up with a truck for a food cart. How the hell is the guy going to move the food cart around to sell food? You don't have a truck. He sold it to the guy. <laughs> he traded up. But anyways. Well. I had a whole bunch of wood stored back here. Uh, I was going to do it to my roof with the tin the extra wood we had when we did the other house so I figured well I don't want that wood to go to waste so I figured I might as well put this trailer to use and build it as a trailer then Paul came up with the idea my brother well let's make it into a food cart we got it so this took me about two months to do the wood work and especially Tim he did the steel work Thanks, Tim. If you've seen this video, thank you for the job you did. Really appreciate it. And I did the woodwork and the paint job. Yes, people are probably wondering that if that's going to be a food cart, it's getting me hungry now because I'm hungry for a cheeseburger and I'm looking at the colors of ketchup and mustard. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, everything else is done. All I need is, uh, all we need now is, uh, the barbecue and an overhang. So in case it's raining. Uh, and the topping for this. We're going for concrete. You know, the con kind of concrete you put behind, uh, fireplaces. It's going to be about, not even an inch thick, but just to fit on top of here for the barbecue to sit so pretty well everything is done just a little bit of a touch ups here and there and uh, friends on Facebook we see this thanks for your comments and pretty well I'm pretty well done I pretty well got all the paint job done now I don't have to worry about fall coming in, really fall coming in, getting cold. Pretty well it's all done. And I should have it for next year's uh, powwow in uh, Big Grassy. Anybody that likes powwows, come to Big Grassy. They have excellent powwows here. But anyways, this is done. Just a little bit of a touch up tomorrow and I'm done, really, really done because today I can't go on. The heat's so unbearable. But I'm gonna go inside now, so if you like to leave me a rating and comment how I did because I can tell you right now I am not a carpenter. I never did carpentry, only carpentry I did was in that of <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Crappy place to be. Hello. Thank God they're closed down. But anyways, first time I did this, and I'm proud of myself. But anyways, hope you liked it. And by the way, my brother already came up with the name of it. My dad used to have this restaurant. It was called Porky's Place. No, some people are probably wondering, yeah, you probably got that name from that movie. Nope, my dad got that name in that restaurant way before that movie came out, Porky's. So actually, my dad came out with the original Porky's Place. But, yep, this is dedicated to my dad. 
my brother he's got the symbol already and the sketch of it and it's, he's gonna get it get somebody to make it up and have stickers put on here and there but anyways she's done I'm happy and uh, I hope you like it I'm proud now I better get inside the house there my baby's waiting all right ciao